Jordan Wise at the St. Francis Cougars getting ready for the, uh, the road opener here. Uh, excited? I am. I am. You know, it's always good to kick off another year and uh, get going. We've been in camp for three, three and a half weeks now, and it's good to go out and actually do what we're, we've been preparing to do, play another team. Yeah, I see uh, on the paper here you're coming back as, like, the leading tackler for the defense. Are you kind of going to be the veteran? going to lead the squad? Um, that's the idea. You know, we do have a lot of young guys out there, and uh, Brian Hardister, myself, Ross Baum, we're the, pretty much the only guys that had a significant amount of time last year, and... Uh, you know, it is a different role than I was in last year, especially. I mean, obviously we graduated eight or nine guys off our defense, and I was the new guy. Well, now this year I've got to be one of the guys that the younger players look to and be a little bit of a calming force on the field. Do you want it to start with the defense and maybe not have to rely on the offense or, or plan on them putting up 50 points a game? I mean, I hope they do. I hope they put up 50, 50 or 60 a game and make our job a lot easier. But uh, every game we've got to go into the – into the ballgame with the mindset that we've got to win it. We can't allow them to score because obviously they can't win if they don't put points on the board. So uh, our mindset going in is it, it's our ball game to win for our team and uh, obviously the offense is loaded this year and they're going to help us out quite a bit. But I think uh, as a defense we've got to have the mentality that it's got to be our game to win. I asked Coach the same thing, I asked Jared the same thing. <laughs> Last year do you use his motivation? Do you talk about it? Are you sick of hearing about it? Um, a, a little bit of all that. Um, you know, since we graduated so many guys, uh, that feeling left with a lot of them. I mean, for the, the ones that stayed behind and the ones that played last year, definitely is a motivating factor. But, I mean, at least on defense, we've got eight or nine new starters this year. So even if they were on the team, they weren't necessarily incredibly connected to what happened last year. We'd get a fresh start, which is which is a very good thing. It's still there. It's still something that motivates us day in, day out, but uh, the group of guys that we come in, we definitely feel like we have a fresh breath, breath fresh air and a, a new place to start. Now you see Iowa Wesleyan on paper. They're 0-2, but they do have those two games under their belt. Uh, what problems could that pose for you guys? Um, you know, it's, we just talked about that we're young, and it, for some of our guys, this is going to be their first college game ever. You know, we are going to play a couple freshmen, and uh, it's going to be their second game, third game of the season. So uh, just the fact that they're going to be game ready, game tested. Um, you know, obviously everybody that's on our team has played football before. Um, but it, it's definitely uh, a big advantage that they've played games this year. And we've got a couple guys that have either new to college football or haven't necessarily been counted on as much in the past couple of years. How much will you be able to help out some of the guys because you are starting the game on the road, it's a seven-hour trip over there, overnight stay. How can you help the younger guys with that? You know, it's kind of nice to go away, and I, I personally think we play a little bit better on road trips just because we're able to isolate ourselves from all the distractions here at home, and it'll give these guys a chance to, especially the new guys, a chance to see how everybody prepares and be completely focused about uh, the one task at hand, which is the ball game. They won't be distracted by any of the other things at home. It's a nice advantage for uh, some of their first games. Is there one question that you hope gets answered Saturday? Um, I just hope that people understand that our coaches have had a tradition of putting good players on the field, and I think that the fact that we're putting so many young guys on the field to play Saturday, it shows that they're a talented bunch, and that that just because our defense is going to be a little bit younger than it has been in years past doesn't mean that we're not going to be able to uh, stop people and put a hurting on some other teams.